it's a blow against the trafficking organization. A major meth and cocaine bust results in 12 San Antonio residents facing federal drug trafficking charges. Among them, Joe Angel Villarreal, whose 14-year-old daughter, Ashley, was fatally shot by DEA agents during a stakeout in San Antonio back in 2003. The girl was shot when she drove their car out of a home on the west side. Agents did not know the child was driving as she hit the gas and put the car in reverse. Agents reported that they feared for their life and opened fire. She died two days later. Villarreal did 19 years in prison for leading a drug organization and was let out in 2019. This investigation was targeting a group of cocaine and methamphetamine traffickers with direct ties into Mexico to San Antonio and dis distributing across the Midwest. Working jointly with the San Antonio Police Department, the investigation led to a number of arrests here and in other parts of the country. We seized significant quantities of cocaine, methamphetamine, and U.S. currency. Along with Villarreal, a GEO employee who works with immigrant children was also arrested. Authorities seized approximately two kilos of cocaine, over 30 pounds of hydroponic marijuana, meth, three handguns, and $235,000. They were all coming from Mexico, um, methamphetamine manufactured in Mexico, and then cocaine that had transited through Mexico. According to federal documents, all of the defendants except one face between 10 years and life in prison. Gutierrez faces between five and 40 years if found guilty. Are we stopping all of the drug trafficking? Absolutely not, but again, it is uh, basically like a boxing match and we're laying body punches on these organizations and disrupting their ability to freely distribute the narcotics within the United States. In your neighborhoods on the streets, Fox San Antonio and the DEA will keep you informed and safe. Jamie Virgin, Fox News at 9.